Hey guys, John Loxley here, back with our a new playthrough of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. So I have played this game before, it actually is one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely by far, at least in my opinion, the best Transformers game. Now it is uh, currently... Sorry, I gotta adjust my chair, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna run any cats over. Now, it is currently unavailable on, on Steam um, because it was released back in 2012 and then uh, Activision's licensing, licensing only lasted for five or six years. So at the beginning of 2018, it was removed from Steam itself. Now, you still can purchase it uh, either through Keys, which Steam does honor, or... Um, my recommendation would be to purchase a physical copy if you have like a PS3 or a PS4 or, you know, the Xbox, right? Um, that way you will always have it in the event that Steam decides to no longer honor its commitment. Um, that is that is one of the tragedies of digital distribution with limited license terms for games is that you know, once all the physical copies are gone, unless you're able to still play it, it'll just be gone forever. So this game hasn't technically been banned from Steam, but for all intents and purposes, it's it's essentially banned. Um, now, I mean, that's, that's, it's just a tragedy. So um, we'll go through the campaign. I'm going to go on uh, through in medium because it's not... Too, it's not super difficult. Um, I have played through most of these chapters multiple times. Uh, not on PS3, I've gotten nearly every achievement because the servers, the servers are still there, but the um, multiplayer is not really popping. And so, getting four people for certain matches, like capture the flag and stuff. And the achievements are pretty hard as well. It's like you have to basically get every point in the game for capture the flag, I think. And that's that achievement. So I'm missing like two, one or two. Um, but I have, is it the Massive Fury DLC? Which actually lets you switch Optimus so that he has his traditional Generation 1 look as well. Um, I may do that. I actually kind of prefer this. I know it's it's blasphemy or sacrilege, whichever, but um, it lets you see... Like, they they tried to, to redesign him while keeping him true to the original. Uh, the High Moon Studios, the makers of this game, they, they really took it seriously. It wasn't just a cash grab. They're like, hey, if we're going to remake the original story of the Transformers, we're going we're gonna to honor it a little bit. Um, so it does take inspiration. Some of the designs and music are uh, inspired by the Michael Bay Transformer movie, the first one at least, but they're designed more honestly, I think. They're not um, gray shapes made up of triangles. You know, they actually have personality and character, which is, which is key. Um, something else which is a little bit weird is that um, Bumblebee doesn't talk in this game. Now, I haven't watched. I haven't watched a lot of the Transformers stuff for a while, but I know there's. Is it Transformers Prime? In this, you start out, and even in. Uh, I can't remember if he talked in War for Cybertron or not, but this this follows that game. This is a direct sequel to that one. Um. But somehow his voice chip gets crushed and uh, he can't speak. And I believe that happens in Transformers Prime, which is the TV show. But I haven't watched it. I don't know. I just know that for some reason he can't talk. And I can't remember why. And, uh, you know, sorry about that. So um, we're going to do chapter one and maybe two here, depending on how fast they are. The Exodus. As the Ark rockets towards a wormhole in space, Bumblebee fights against Decepticons eager to board and destroy the Autobots' last hope. 
So let's uh, let's begin. You'll notice there's no start button anywhere, which is kind of awkward. You have to basically select your your thing and then uh, just click on it. So, um, anything else I need to say before we start? Uh, oh yeah, uh, so there's a guy named Johnny Flash, a YouTuber. He actually did a really great playthrough of the game, but it's in movie format. So it's about two hours long, maybe a little bit less. But if you just want to watch all the bits with dialogue and uh, cutscenes and other stuff, he actually plays through the game and edits it in such a way that it makes it look really good. Um, you know, not a lot of the... He doesn't show very much of the gameplay, but if he does, it's in a cinematic fashion. So, uh, Johnny Flash, it's like Transformers Fall of Cybertron, the movie, or something like that. It's it's really good, even the in-game stuff where it's like, look at this. He'll like slowly pan the camera over and show you the important bits. It's, it's I highly recommend it if you're gonna, if you're gonna watch, um, Oh man, my back. If you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna watch anything, so let's uh, let's kick it off. Yeah, I've basically been going through the game, um, either trying to get all of the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. So hang on, real fast. Back. Um, throughout the game, you do pick up collectibles like audio logs, and um, there are some. For each level, I've missed... Well, I haven't done these yet. Uh, but I've been going through and picking up all the audio logs and making sure I get those. So, uh, assuming I remember, we will try and, and listen to those. <clears throat> listen to those for the appropriate chapters at the end of each episode. So, uh, let, me, let me make a little note real fast while we kick this off. Soup is a Dinobot who often... yeah. We have no choice, Bumblebee. The war is lost. Leaving our home is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. It has been a long, painful war with the Decepticon. Whatever lies beyond that portal is our best and last hope, my friend. We're approaching the portal. That indicates it's growing more unstable. At this rate, it may close before we even get there. Megatron. Those tow cables. All hands to combat. So pretty cinematic intro. Probably. You with them? Optimus, he's coming around. Thank the maker. He's been through worse. Voice chip is still crushed. Nothing new there. Base energon levels are almost normal. Overshields are charging up. <clears throat> I need to test your retinal scanners. Follow the light. That's it. On target. Looking good. How are your optics? Do you like these settings? Yes. <clears throat> good news. Arms out! Weapons to the deck! Don't fire! I'm a medic! Slap a muffler on it! Take them out, Bumblebee! They're my optics! Ah! Here, grab this ammo clip. More Decepticons are trying to board. And it, this is basically your tutorial. Don't forget to reload. Decepticons are boarding a ship! Defend the bridge! So... I'm going to try not to talk over a lot of it, because for some reason the voices in this are, are pretty quiet, relatively speaking. That's showing them! Megatron won't give up that easily. 
Teletrack, full damage analysis on all decks. Firewall breach, unauthorized access. Your precious arc will never reach that port, Optimus. Shield failure, one starboard thruster. I will tear your ship apart, piece by piece! Optimus, the Septicons are swarming the engine deck! I'm on my way. Bumblebee, stay and cover the bridge. No! The entire defense network is down! Without the pulse cannons, Optimus won't stand a chance. You'll have to reboot the system manually. Take this fuse from Teletran. It should reactivate the service link. I love how Bumblebee has the Autobot symbol on his back. That's just really cool to me. Good luck, Bumblebee. This way, Bumblebee! We'll take point! Now, if you are going to play this, obviously I recommend um, maybe acquiring it digitally, shall we say, for PC. But I would actually recommend, you know, purchasing it for for the console because those are actually less. You all right? Can you make it over? They actually have less bugs. They're more polished, and they're they're more more supported, which is a little bit weird. Random Autobot soldier. Uh, hurry! I'll hold it open for you. Bumblebee, I've patched into your optics. The service lift is just ahead. We've got to get out of here. No! One thing I don't fully understand that they never really explain with with this is, um, hang on. Okay, so I am at the lowest sensitivity setting. Uh, why the ship needs oxygen? I mean, the robots. I mean, they they don't because Bumblebee goes out onto the deck here in a minute, but. So one of the things I think is so great Replace the fuse and the lift should reactivate. So great about this game is you can really feel the desperation of the Autobots. Okay, let's hope this works. You can't reconfigure it. I have like, on my mouse I have, oh, where's my, uh, I have like the thumb stuff. So I have thumb buttons. I hate the mouse wheel. Like I hate pushing it. It's not a third mouse button, but you can't configure it. So that's a problem. Um, So this is the tutorial section. That's some weird lag right there, but... Okay, 
frame is just through that door. Now, at least with this one, there are bugs occasionally where you'll try and put one of those Moleculon fuses in or pull a switch, and you'll just kind of stand there or or you do the whole like back and forth thing because you can't quite figure out where you're supposed to be. As far as I've experienced, the console versions do not have those problems. Easy now. Your pulse rifle could melt that whole panel. Think you can rush him from there. You did it! Pulse gunners, engine deck, covering fire! Tactical readout is online. Now if I can just locate Optimus. There! He's taking Megatron head on! <laughs> Bumblebee, are you there? Optimus needs your help. That fall must have jarred your alternator back into gear. Change form and roll out. They do the, uh... They really do a good job. I mean, the transformations, everything is just perfect. Yes. There's Bruticus. We could boost, but, um, ooh. There we go. And when you boost, you switch back into actual car mode, not like hover mode. That just looks awesome to me. Look out, Bumblebee! Tow cables. Bumblebee, take in your nitro boost! Megatron is, like, super pissed. Bumblebee, you're running out of road. You'll have to jump it. Nice work! Check your fire! Over here! I just said you were coming. Open up! We got Bumblebee! That's pretty horrible. If you think about it, like all these dead bodies, we don't we don't consider it an issue, but imagine in wars. Like Thank Primus the defense grid is back up. You pull that off? Nice. Didn't stand a chance without it. Yeah? What do you think the odds are now? But yeah, robots everywhere. Over here, Bumblebee! Fresh supplies! Now you're ready to blast some cons straight back to Cybertron. Aw, oh, yeah. Through here, Bumblebee. You want to be tip of the spear? We're right behind you. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Now I have a rocket launcher as well. And I can switch back and forth, but we'll do the rocket launcher. I was hoping to get him, but it didn't work out. Wait, is that one of us?
Did you see that? The whole engine deck is coming apart! Keep pushing! Optimus needs us! Bumblebee, I'll clear you a wedge. Follow the Titan. Ah, shit. Didn't mean to hit him in the back, but, you know. one to ground. That last blast took a toll on Optimus. You want to help? The time is now. We're almost through. Autobots, listen up. Bumblebee's gonna punch through. Give him some covering fire. Now, suppressing fire! I don't think you actually have to kill all these guys, but, you know. I just wish we actually got some stuff for it. I'm still trying to do the achievement where you upgrade all the weapons. He made it. He's through. I can't see anything, but my scanners say Optimus should be right on top of you. Even if you destroy me, Megatron, others will rise to defeat your tyranny. Then I'll just have to destroy you all! Bumblebee! Pretty awesome. Cybertron, the home world we Autobots have strived to protect from the Decepticons, can no longer sustain us. Eons of civil war have caused the greatest of casualties. Our planet's very core has shut down, halting its production of life-giving energy. Most of us have abandoned our home in hopes of finding a new life among the stars. I am Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots. We do not know how many of our brothers escaped Megatron's blockade. I can only be certain of this. Just one transport remains. I am hide to Optimus Prime. The last of the Energon reserves have been transferred to the Ark. Engines are online, all systems go. Nice work, Ironhide. Perceptor, how goes the city shutdown procedures? Nearly finished, Optimus. My team will have all systems powered off and archived by the time we launch. Good. I'll send the boarding call out momentarily. But first... Decepticons have broken through sectors 9 through 12. That was Grimlock's post. More Decepticon squadrons approaching for the north and west. Optimus, this is Ratchet. Decepticons have invaded the city. We need you at the fortress to help coordinate defenses. We're on our way, Ratchet. All right. So there's the Ark. There's the Decepticon fleet. And uh, Autobot City right over there. I love Optimus's design, and for some reason the uh, the cutscenes are a little bit low resolution compared to the actual game graphics. I think it's it's kind of weird. The volume is a little bit lower as well, so it's not not super great. But um, you know, uh, you know, it's just a, a minor gripe. Grimlock, do you read me? Grimlock. Uh, no answer. More cannons. Megatron isn't holding back anything this time. It's targeting the Ark. Yep. All right, so before we jump down there, now, I have collected most of the audio logs. Um, there are guides if you want to play this and, and get them yourself. I mean, of course, there's an achievement associated with all of that. But if you come through here, 
You can either melee or just shoot this rubble. Press E to see an old friend. Where are you, Optimus? We need ya! Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. See, I played the the one before this war for Cybertron, and this was his axe during the game. I I don't remember what sacrifice he's talking about, to be honest. So anyway, let's uh let's go. Press F to change form. We will do that. I like how it seems like the the Autobots are breathing as well because even when they're the bridge is out! Keep going, Jetfire. I'll find another way. Even though they're standing still, like parts are moving. It's like they're it's like they're breathing, sort of. Or you know the the robot equivalent. Yep. Watch out. Artillery. Get out of there, Optimus. Oh yeah, and see, just watch out for that uh, targeting sensor. Optimus, over here. Ah, the the controls when you're boosting are a little bit. A route through the Iacon ruins. I'm heading for the auxiliary entrance. Watch that front. They're a little bit awkward, just a bit, uh, because it's a little bit touchier, and you don't have to shoot. I mean, you can just boost through them. But there's a dropship. Set the gun drop ship. Yep. Approaching the side entrance. Have that door ready. Acknowledged. Almost there. Taking fire from somewhere. Now, one of the things that does make this game significantly easier is... ...is there are upgrades. There are permanent upgrades, and there are... You know, you can buy, like, weapon ammo and... And just upgrades your weapon itself. You can upgrade all of your vehicle forms. Oh, I'm down to two ammo. That's no good. I mean, it'll be it'll be fine. I'm inside. Ratchet, have Warpath get a response team ready and meet me in the armory. Will do. One thing for sure. Megatron's timing is as lousy as ever. Why didn't Grimlock warn us? So in the game before this, you huge... It's Optimus Prime. Thank Primus, security is still online. In the game War for Cybertron, you'd shoot these icons for an achievement, but uh, here you. Ratchet is waiting for you, Optimus. Here you don't. It really does look like a war-torn area. Optimus, we tried our best. Without Grimlock, Megatron rolled right over us. Easy, soldier. Thank you, Bumblebee. I think I got it. Try it now. Power's still not stable. Do it over. You have a lot of wounded soldiers here. Uh, no, we won't. Damage is too great. We can't spare the energy. Optimus, please, take me with you. You'll be safer here until we can return. Don't do this. I can still fight. Optimus. He's in stasis. Till all are one, my friend. Mm. Let's load him up. Yes, sir. It's dark. A 
lots of wounded they're trying to put into hibernation or stasis or whatever, you know. He's nearly ready to fly, Jazz. Using two more ears, side swipe. Yeah. So there's side swipe. Uh side swipe. We need that drop ship to get support to the outer wall. We scavenged all the good parts for the Ark, Optimus. She'll fly. There's a nice, uh, neat little echo effect too. If you if you pay attention, like in this big cavern, they have an actual echo, which is very cool. I've deserted this post. Pick the worst time to do it. Rimlock's a deserter. There's Jazz over there. Jazz and uh, Cliff Jumper. Some of the original voice actors are back, like Peter Cullen for Optimus Prime, and I think Jazz. Um, but you have, uh, not everyone came back. You have people like Nolan North and, uh, you know, Steve Bloom filling in as well. And, um, obviously the guy that did the original Starscream died. Uh, and that's, you know, that's really too bad, but they try. They try to fill his shoes. Right, Manny? That's right. All right. Optimus, I need your help. Ratchet, how can I help? Silverbolt's leaked too much energon. We need to stabilize his power. Grab that cable. Now, plug it into his power supply. We blew a regulator. We need that power online. Power's back. Well met, Ratchet. Thank you, Primus. I'll handle the rest, Optimus. I'm sure you're needed elsewhere. Easy. Save your strength. Lots of wounded. I'm leaking over here. Hello. Look out! Hold on, soldier. I'll get you out. Optimus, it's too heavy. Together now. Almost got it. So that's Nolan North. Gonna be okay. If someone offered me a chance to play in any role in a Transformers game or whatever, I'd be like, hell yeah. I'll see if I can queue up some more help. All right, so obviously this way is toast. This is a game where I don't mind the the little markers right there too much, um, because there's a lot of twists and turns and mazes and, and that sort of thing. So it's nice to know which way you're going, especially when you're in a big arena and everything kind of looks the same. But, um... Everything okay? We've got this covered, Jazz. Grimlock left his post. I need you to find him. On my way! Optimus? Looking for Grimlock. Warpath, give me a status update. Perceptor and a bunch of tech heads are trapped inside the nerve center at the south gate. I'm gathering a rescue team. Count me in. We'll go that way in a minute. You might want to gear up at the Teletran terminal. Yep, Teletran 1. This just brings us down to... Get these enforcers online. Take cover! Put out that fire. Yep. They, they're gone. Nothing we can do for them. Keep working. I believe right here there would be another audio log, but yeah, so these are little mobile weapons platforms. I don't know if I mean I don't think I don't think they had um like them in the original Transformers stuff. I don't I don't recall. But it's weird, because they don't really have personalities or anything. Like, we have dropships and stuff like that. And I think in the original canon, uh, anything that would turn into a transport... Like, there was there was a Decepticon, like a triple changer, I think, that was a train and also a space shuttle. Uh, but they all were robots as well. Kind of like Trypticon in the original, uh, in the previous game, right? Here, not, not so much. 
I mean, heck, even the even the Autobot City itself turns into a, a Metroplex, right? Enough destructions. I've got a job to do. I do have a job. All right, let's check out the Teletrain One store. Actually, before we do that. Warpath is right over there, sir. Yep, they don't want you going this way yet. That's the way forward, but you have to go to the store first. That doesn't look quite Autobot. We have an armory with what seems to be a giant sword. So this is actually Grimlock's uh, chamber. Anything I could use to protect the Autobots. Open Grimlock's locker. Grimlock's unfettered anger represents as much danger for the Autobots as it does for the Decepticons. It's a bunch of enemy heads. And another giant sword. Oh, interact with the chair. Grimlock's TV viewing area, which is kind of cool. A couple different uh, channels. Where are you, Optimus? We need you. We'll have time to watch TV later. I don't know if those are supposed to be beverages of some kind. I think so, because these are empty ones and those are full ones. It would have to be some kind of oil or uh, energon fuel, like, you know, to drink. Greetings, Orion Pax, er, Optimus Prime. Orion Pax. That was Optimus's original name when he was a, I think he was a dock worker, right? And then Megatron attacked and did... I don't remember all the details. I think he got wounded and his girlfriend volunteered her parts to save him or something. And that's when he got rebuilt as Optimus Prime. Um, that was in the original cartoon. The comics, I think, came up with the concept of the Primes. Like, there's 13 Primes. Megatron was one of them. Um... So, you know, Megatron was like, according to different lore and stuff, he was a high-ranking person, and then he sort of, like, one of the chosen ones, and then he turned away. Because I think the Primes were originally... It's something to do with Primus. Primus is like the, the god figure of the Transformers universe. Uh, and the Primes were descended from or chosen from or chosen by, I should say, uh, Primus, originally. I don't quite recall, but we have a little bit of money. We can, um... Throwback Blaster, a pistol which fires retro lasers. Unlike modern lasers, these vintage lasers make a pew-pew noise when fired, and they're pink. It's not the greatest weapon, uh, but, and actually, if you notice, it's, I believe it's Megatron, or what he turns into, originally. But it gives us the transforming sound, like the original. Time for some velocity. We will never surrender. There you go. It's like the original transforming sound. It's not, you know... Pew pew! How can I help you, Optimus Prime? We're gonna switch. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Uh, we will go with. You know, they're all fairly decent weapons. It just depends on what you want. Uh, the riot cannon that we just switched back. We'll go with the path blaster because that's the. Um, should we upgrade the gambler? Oh no, we don't have enough for that. 
so once you choose all the normal upgrades, you get access to the special upgrade. Uh, fires devastating shockwave round by randomly infusing one bullet per clip with synthetic destronium. Consumes two times the ammo. Now, there is an achievement for rating everything in the store, which includes all of these upgrades. So you have to purchase it and then make sure you do rate it. Um, but yeah, see, these are the, the perks like extra health, extra ammo or ammo dispenser. Whenever you do the Teletran, it refills all your stuff. When you first start out and you have none of this, the game's a little bit harder. A little bit harder. But once you... Long live the last prime. Right. Long live the last prime. So prime... You know... I think in the previous game he was sort of elected or, or chosen or something like that to be a prime. He had been re refusing it or something and Megatron had killed all the others. Kind of like... Kind of like Darth Vader... Almost. Um, strangely, there are some parallels between Transformers and Star Wars, but you know. Energon is in short supply, so make every shot count. Line those cons up, dead in your. You uh, want the honors, Optimus? Ah, uh, damn it! It's your show, Warpath. Listen up, we've got cons right outside this door. When the door opens, we go out hard. You will engage the enemy with guns blazing and gears grinding. Yes, sir. Hit on three, two, one. Go, yeah. Go, go. Keep a tight formation. This way, Optimus. Let's move around and flank these cons. Yep. Grenade heading out. To set the cons. Those cons are trying to break into the nerve center. I prevent these casualties. <laughs> Forward. Heat seeking rockets are awesome. Oh crap. All right. So Yeah, Warpath wants us to go around this way and you know, that's that's fair enough. We'll do that. Can we go this way? No. Maybe maybe later, I think. I don't quite recall. Clear! 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 Warpath! Meet me at the door to the nerve center. Which is right over there. And if you want, you can pick up the scatter blaster, which is basically like a shotgun, but we will not. All right. Ah, I didn't mean to pick up the health, but you know, whatever. This debt pack is still alive. We need to remove it carefully. You saying I'm not careful? What? You? Optimus, scouts reported the Septicon dropship is coming in hot. Looks like that debt pack will have to wait. Autobots, take defensive positions. Optimus, you want dibs on that gun turret? I'm on it. Yes. Unfortunately, in this game, we cannot detach the turret. We have to stay right there, but whatever. I like the perspective this set the drop chip. We must protect this door at all costs. Agreed. This actually is kind of hard because you're essentially stationary and they're not. 
I mean, you could bounce the turret. I'm hoping it'll not hurt me too badly. You can always leave the turret, um, but it doesn't run out of ammo, and it's the last of them. Good work, Autobots. Now, let's deal with that jetpack. We will, but we gotta collect all the money before we do, because it's really worth it. How are we doing on time? This oh. will help the war effort. Optimus, I don't think I can handle this dead pack by myself. Yeah, don't worry, guy. I got you. Um. Okay. Really? I, for some reason, I like the perspective this offers. Not letting me. There we go. I don't know why that worked, but it did. All right, Warpath. On three. One, two, three. Yeah, look. Warpath, secure the area, then make your way to the Ark. Protect it at all costs. Yes, Prime! A little bit buggy. They didn't quite pull it. They didn't quite pull it in unison. It, uh... Optimus? Perceptor has been waiting for you, sir. Where is he now? At the central hub. He's been rewiring things all day. Optimus, Perceptor, meet me at the command terminal. All right. Everything transforms, which is kind of nice. We'll teach these Decepticons a lesson, won't we? We nearly have the nerve center up and running again. Primus, there goes another molecular fuse. Optimus, if you'd be so kind as to locate another fuse. I'll handle it, Perceptor. All right. It feels... Feels weird getting money from from uh, dead Autobots. That's not the greatest, you know. We'll just run over here and blow up these crates real fast. Uh, okay, we got to be careful with this one because this is where I got stuck. Good. Right. That should do it. There they are. I've located artillery units throughout this complex that we could use to repel Megatron's attack. I've been trying to get these weapons online, but they're quite old. And... We don't have enough energon. Everything we have is fueling the Ark. Can we spare any of it and still launch? It's worth a try. We'll have to manually redirect the power to the artillery gun. I can't do it from here. Optimus! We got cops knocking at the door! Stay online, Perceptor, and guide me to the first artillery unit. Roger that, Prime. All right, um... How you doing, Manny Cat? This is gonna go on, this chapter is actually pretty long. I'd forgotten that it was longer than I expected. Um... Let's go a little bit forward. I think I think if we restart from the last checkpoint here, it will put us back put us back out to that door uh, before this area. So let's move forward a little bit until like over here, I think, and then it'll, that'll be the next checkpoint area, I believe. Now that little point right there, if 
at least on the PC, Optimus got stuck trying to put the fuse in in a previous game, and I had to like totally quit out of the game. Uh, never had that problem on PC or you know like the PS3. A fortunate find. All right, grab one of you. Um, you know, that was not a great throw. That was more like a drop, but I'll, I'll take it. It got rid of all of them. So there you all are. Clear. Seal the door behind me. Not that door, presumably. First artillery units, you'll need to head through the engine room. That's where we assembled the Ark's boosters. I remember. Your path should be fairly clear. All of that machinery will have been moved by now. All that is left now is the city's old foundation pumps. I believe this is the area that he's talking about. We'll hit the Teletrans store, and that might give us the autosave that we need. Hello, Optimus. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's just, um, let's restart from the last checkpoint, see where it takes us. Yes. Your reasoning is highly illogical. All right, Optimus. To get to the first okay. artillery units, you'll need to head... Right on. So that should be fine. I think, I think we'll restart from right here, but we're going to stop for now. Uh, let's do the audio logs from the first level. There's like seven of them. Oh wait, defend the Ark. Oh no, I guess that would be after the first, after this level that we're at, so we didn't have any audio logs the first time. Um, but we'll stop here for now just because, well, the rest of that level takes probably another 20 minutes. So, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for your time and attention, I really do appreciate it. Um, trying to make the game screen as big as I can, that's why this camera is like smushed it's normally an extra 50 percent bigger give or take um regardless it's fine uh you know i'm, I'm still i'm still learning you know experimenting with different stuff trying to figure out the best way for things um but yeah but yeah thank you guys for your time and attention i do appreciate it i hope you guys are enjoying these episodes um, this one, I'm still doing, I'm still doing the Eternal Daughter stuff. I just, I need something else when I, like, I haven't beaten the Hume guy yet. I, I just did episode four, and, um, or, well, you know, I've been on call the last few days, so I haven't had a time to record, haven't had any time to record. Uh, but I'm probably gonna do, probably gonna try that after this. We'll, we'll see, I might do, I might finish this little part first and then uh and then we'll see i just need uh, i don't know how long episode five is going to be it might just be me me trying to be hume for a few minutes in eternal daughter and then uh getting frustrated and, and you know recording another few minutes of trying and and that sort of thing uh yeah i have no intentions of i know some people will like most people will do like cuts they'll be like oh I grinded for six hours to get to where I am it's like that's not really some people are cool with that some are not I I don't want to feel like I'm deceiving anybody you know so plus let's be fair sometimes it's hilarious to watch people get really mad at a video game I don't want to be that person getting mad and getting laughed at, but um, if it makes you guys happy, then that's <laughs> then that's fine with me. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it is... Um, this is going to sound kind of weird. We had a... I don't know what's been going on, if it's just been super humid. The fire alarms have been triggered a couple times, like once last night, once this morning. And they're super loud, 
like to the point where I think deaf people could probably hear them, and that's not that's legit. That's not um that's not a joke. They're like super ear piercing to the point where I have to like it hurts. It hurts my ears like a lot. Uh so you know, I pulled out my my earplugs that I kept from when I was in the military, like the the gun range earplugs, like the really or sorry, not the gun range ones, like the combat earplugs. And I, I had those just because it happened once before. And I'm like, never again. So I shoved those in, grabbed the cats, shoved them in their, their carriers and took them out to the car where it was quieter. Um, of course, they didn't love being shoved in the carriers and now they're hiding under the bed where I can't reach them. So when that happened this morning, uh, I was just like, well, screw it then. I'll have to figure something else out in case something, you know, I mean, because it's it's a fire alarm, right? If there's actually a fire, um, I'll probably just shove the bed out of the way and grab them. They'll they'll not be happy, but, you know, better than leaving them, right? So, so the positive moment is that it was a successful drill, so to speak. Right, why are you all hairy right now? I was petting Manny and there's like hair all over my hand. Um, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Take care.